right, as you can see, we're at 7%. <clears throat> I preconditioned the battery. We're going to try, oh my goodness, this is actually, <laughs> okay. We're going to, you see this? There's this pole here. Oh, my door just opens without touching it. <laughs> so we're gonna try the um, superchargers here. This is a V4. So this, we have the cable. Also it has the um, adapter there. So if you use the older type, all right, and we'll push this button, should open, there we go. Look, they changed the charging connector. That's what it looks like inside now, okay? Looks like wider open connectors there. Anyways, let's plug this in. Okay. Let's see. We're going to start charging and how fast. <clears throat> it's going. There we go. It's green. All right. Let's take a look. That pole scares me. If you're a little, if you park a little too close, you'll end up hitting that pole with your door. Or maybe just don't back up so far. Look, I didn't need to back up that far. There's plenty of... Somebody told me that you have to back up far to plug it in. They, they tricked me. <laughs> All right. You can see <clears throat> right now it's set to 90%. I don't know why. It should be 80, but let's see. Let's do a... Should I do a 100% charge just because? Let's see if it's going to go over 250 kilowatts. I don't know why, but my Cybertruck rarely gets to 250 kilowatts. So let's see with the V4 if that changes. Okay, so these chargers are designed to use to basically charge any EV. So we got a Mustang Mach E coming in here as well. All right, it's going to 250 right now. Is it possible to go over? There you go. So we are getting over 250, but only for a second. <laughs> All right, so there you go. I wonder if it will hold the charge rate for longer than the other vehicle or than the other chargers, but judging by the amount of time it's going to take, an hour, 15 minutes, I think it's not. Um, well, usually the last percent is the one that takes forever, forever. So let's see if I put 99. That cut off five minutes. <laughs> okay. I don't know if, I don't think I really need to charge that far. Let me see, I put it to 85 right now. You can see we're charging at 252 kilowatts. Is that my record? Is it gonna go any higher? I don't remember if I ever charged faster than 252. I know I've hit 250 and went over slightly before. So, yeah. All right, <clears throat> you can see I changed it to 85% and now it's saying it will take 45 minutes. But uh, just for experiment's sakes, we'll charge to 100 and see. Okay, charging 253 kilowatts. Uh, let's see, I'll show you guys. Oops, let's show you here, 13%. Charge rate limited by charging station. Charging at maximum rate available from charging station. So what this is telling me is that the Cybertruck can charge faster than this and it's the charging station that's limiting it. Is that is that what's going on? So it can actually charge faster? We'll see, 254 right now. I guess if that's the limit of the charging station then it's never gonna go beyond 254. So you can see the time, 10.16 a.m. right now. <coughs> I'm just going to let it go, and I'll see you guys in a bit when the charge rate changes a bit more, right? Obviously, it's going to slowly go down as the charge rate goes, or the charge percentage goes up. Um, but right now, it's reaching higher maximum, I guess, 253, 254. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, oh, I didn't get it. Oh, there you go. It hit 255 for a little bit, and then it dropped back to 254. 255. I'm curious because the other ones, the cable got really hot. Let's see. I gotta carefully open the door because I don't want to hit that pole. Okay. And let's see how this is much beefier. This cable is nice and cool. It's not even warm. Yeah, so whatever they changed here, I think the bigger connector, longer, um, <coughs> I think it goes deeper in. And then it's um, more metal surface, more contact. 
whatever's in there, it's definitely keeping this cable a lot cooler. Like, I don't feel any warmth coming off of that at all. And I guess they probably have some nice liquid cooling in here or something. Yeah, this cable is like nice and cool. I don't feel any warmth at all. <clears throat> Look at how narrow the gap is there. Yeah. I think if I don't park so close in, then it'll be okay. <laughs> Still at 254. 255. Yeah. I don't know if it will go beyond that, but there you go. And it's still saying charge rate limited by charging station. So there we go. I hope we have more of these chargers along the way uh, on my road trip. I kind of doubt it, but hopefully because these, it stays at that higher rate, it seems. All right, we'll see when we're at a higher percentage if it's going to start, how much it's going to start dropping. So I'll see you guys then. All right, we're at 25%. It's 10, 19 a.m. You can see it's dropping below now. We're at 248 and it's no longer limited by the charger so if that's the case that means even if they upped the speed does that mean it's gonna once it hits 25% it's gonna drop to 240 so that means the 350 or however whatever speed it's only gonna go for like a few minutes and that's only if your battery's super low so we'll see. You can see we're at 28% and now it's at 229 kilowatt speed. All right, 1020 AM. So the charge rate is dropping relatively quick. We already lost over 30 or about 30 kilowatts charging speed. All right. Okay, you can see we're at 31% and it dropped to 216, 215 kilowatts. It's only been a minute. And it dropped that much. Alright, we'll see you guys in a bit. It's going to continue dropping, I'm sure. I think uh, if it's like the other chargers, it's going to hover around 150 for a while. But uh, we'll see, it's slowly, slowly dropping. Maybe it'll just slowly drop until it reaches 150 and then it will go for like another 10, 20% and then drop even more. You can see it's already going almost down to 200 kilowatt speed. <clears throat> and we're only at 33%. So I'm assuming the handle's not gonna be warm at all because the thing's just dropping down, right? Yeah, the handle's like room temperature. <laughs> it feels like just touching that. Actually colder. <laughs> the steel's colder though because it pulls the heat away from your hand better. <clears throat> you can see we're below 200 or 200 kilowatts now, 194. It's only been three minutes. <laughs> <clears throat> I, didn't, I don't remember what time I started, but when I was looking at it at around 10.19, that's when I noticed all the kilowatt drop. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later again. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, it dropped now to 155 kilowatt. It's only been 7 minutes since uh, the large drops have been happening. And you can see it says an hour remaining, if I charged 100%. <laughs> Alright, we're at 44% now. And I think it's going to hover around this 150 something uh, for a while. It's usually around where it goes, 140 to 150 ish. So we'll see. All right, you can see we're at 144 kilowatt. And now it's only been nine minutes. We're at 48%. And we'll see if it holds this 144. Usually I think that's around where it stays for a while. Um, because it's basically like if I were to plug in at a 150 kilowatt charger, we get this charge rate for quite some time, but we'll see. All right, so we started around 10.13 with 7%. So yeah, we're now at 51% and it's 10.29 as you can see. So that's what, 16 minutes to charge, what, 43%, 44%, so 40 percent wait 
<laughs> I'm doing the math wrong. Seven, it's at 11 now. For 44%. Now 45%. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, it charged the initial amount pretty quick, but, uh, yeah, you can see the charge rate is going down, 137. Alright, All right, we're now at 56%, it's 10.32 a.m., and it's charging at 129 kilowatts. There you go, you can also see the temperature, it's 67 degrees Fahrenheit right now, and we're in the shade, so, yeah. We're at 60%, it's 10.35 a.m. now, and we're charging at 111 kilowatts, so you can see the voltage, or sorry, not the voltage, the charge rate is sagging now. Quite a bit, it just drops and drops. But uh, that's how it is, and yeah, we still have it set to charge to 100%. It says 50 minutes remaining. I'm not gonna charge 100% because I'm not gonna drive the truck around much for a while. So I don't want it to sit in my driveway at 100%. That's not good for the battery. So we're going to lower it to 80. And let's see how much time we have left. There you go. 20 minutes. All right. All right, we're at 64%. 14 minutes remaining. 10.37 uh, a.m. right now. And you can see it's dropped to 95 kilowatt charging speed. All right, you can see it's 10.41 a.m. now. 69%. 10 minutes remaining and we're charging at 90 kilowatts. All right, 10.43, 72%, seven minutes remaining, still charging at 90 kilowatts. Charging's almost done, and yeah. All right, we're at 76%, 10.47 a.m., three minutes remaining, and you can see uh, we're still charging at 92 kilowatts. So yeah, I guess it sits at that 90 something for a long time. All right, 79%, 10.49 a.m., one minute remaining. You can see it's charging at 95, 94 kilowatt. So bouncing around there, but it's pretty much just about done. You'll hear the click of the thing as it shuts off, or hopefully you will. Let me close the windows. And let's see if you hear the shut off when it cuts the charge. Calculating, calculating. There you go. Alright, charge is complete. That's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Well, I kind of want to see what happens. I started it up again. Let's see if it will ramp up or it will just stop at 90 something. Nope, <laughs> it just stops at 90 something. So even if you were to stop it and start it again. All right, that's it, see you guys later. Oh, now that the sun's shining on it, this is hot, but this is not. So the sun is making it hot, right? <laughs> this portion's cold, this portion's hot. So maybe they need to switch to white cables. Oh, that's weird, okay. Pushing this button, oh, there we go. It took a while for it to respond. And then plug this in, just like that. All right, that's it. See you guys later.